Hello there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now recently I tested the iPhone 11 Pro Max to see how much it throttle, that is how much its performance decrease when the device gets hot from constantly playing a 3D game. And you'll be able to see the video to that linked somewhere and in the description and, and whatever. Okay, so now having done the iPhone, now it's the chance of Android. How much does a Snapdragon 855 based device throttle when it gets hot? Well, if you wanna find out more, please, let me explain. Okay, before we get going, let's just point out a few obvious things. And that is, that of course, when we're dealing with iPhones, there is just one manufacturer, that's Apple. And there are a few devices that are current at any one time. When we get over to the Android world, of course, we're talking about hundreds, if not more, of different devices, even though those that have just been launched this year, different levels of performance, different levels of price point, different le levels of design in terms of the materials, in terms of the, what the back is like, you know, the physical size of it. Some even have more, kind of more proactive cooling on them. Some are very, very passive cooling. So obviously the gamut of what you can find out there in the Android was very, very different to what you can find uh, on the uh, iPhone side. However, I've chosen a Snapdragon 855 device. So with that, I'm hoping we'll be able to get a general idea about throttling with the 855 and kind of how much. Of course, there are other 855 devices that may have different chassis, different types of metal, that even have, as I said a moment ago, different types of active cooling, and they are going to be different. However, this is gonna be a rough ballpark figure. However, I know the first thing a lot of you can write in the comments are, try it with the, and then you're gonna list some device that you really want me to try it with. Well, I'm not gonna be able to test every single Android device uh, out there for how well it throttles. So let's just take this as a kind of a general example. And maybe in the future, if I get a few more, maybe I can try, but this isn't gonna be something I'm gonna do for, you know, uh, again and again and again and again and again for all these different types of devices. Now the device I've chosen mainly because of accessibility. In other words, I had it in my hand. I was able to run these tests, use my temperature gun on it and so on. I'm using the Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro, which isn't the fastest Snapdragon 855 device out there. However, it should be a good representative of what goes on inside of an Android device and particularly an 855 device. So my testing method was very similar to that of the iPhone. Basically run speed test G, run the unity test for an amount of time and then see what the different performances is. And the video I'm about to show you now is after 30 minutes of playing that 3D uh, unity test of that running around in a loop, heating up the CPU and GPU, and then running speed test G to get the final uh, time. So we have the cold Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro on the left hand side with the Snapdragon 855 starting at room temperature around 23 degrees. On the right hand side we have exactly the same as Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro but now it's been using that uh, UT test for over 30 minutes and the temperature has gone up significantly on that device. And so what are we seeing here already? We're seeing a clear lead now by the colder device uh, as it's already gone through that Jason test and is now into the compression test on the right hand side is now just going into the compression test maybe this will be a chance for it to catch up maybe it will be able to do it but will this slow down at all because of this no not really into the 16 thread test we're expecting the cooler version to be able to whip its way through that without any problems as the one on the right hand side is now going into the 16 thread test well it's doing quite well i expected to struggle a bit more than that it's not so crippled because of the heat however it's not going as fast as the cooler version which is already into the blur test as now the one on the right hand side is into the blur test the one on the left hand side is into the infinite scrolling list this is going to be interesting to see what the overall times are here is this a deal of just one or two seconds or are we really is seeing a significant difference here as the one on the left hand side is into that particle smoke test what's the frame rate going to be 19 frames a second up next 20 frames a second there for a moment up next is the uh, unity test the one on the right hand side has now also gone into that smoke test what's its frame rate going to be this will give us a good indication 18 frames a second so it's dropped a frame a second there already as one on the left hand side is clearly going through the unity test the one on the right hand side is just now starting unity test there we go it's coming to the end now what's the overall time going to be let's see what it is there we go one minute and 38.4 now on the right hand side 
And this much warmer device is now making its way through the unity test. What's its final time going to be as it comes now down to the valley? Turns right. Let's see what we get here at the very, very end. What's the time? There you go. One minute, 53.8. Okay, let's break down those times and see what happened. So clearly the cooler running uh, Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro won with 1 minute 38.4. 15.4 seconds later came in the hot version with 1 minute 53.8. When you break down the CPU, the uh, mix and the GPU times 48.3 for the cooler version, 57.6. For the hotter version, that's a 9.3 second difference there. When you get to the mix CPU, GPU 29.7 versus 33.7, so a four second difference there. And when you get to that unity test, that flyover test there, 20.3 for the cool version, 22.4 for the uh, warmer version, so a 2.1 seconds difference there. So when you add it all up together, clearly the cooler one was the winner with a 15 second plus lead over its uh, warmer counterpart. Okay, so there we can see a significant amount of throttling there by the Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro. Now, all we can say definitively is that's the amount of throttling that you get out of the Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro but we can hopefully get a general idea of what happens inside of a Snapdragon 855 based device. But of course there will be some differences depending on the chassis design and the cooling and so on. What a few things we can notice are is that the iPhone runs hotter. That was going up to 44 degrees, whereas my Xiaomi didn't meet uh, 40 degrees at all. So that's an interesting thing. And we can also say that the overall percentage, so it's based on the relative performance to start with, a uh, decrease in performance was roughly the same across two. I think the iPhone was slightly higher, but of course the iPhone was already running uh, at higher performance. So around 15% for both devices. However, clearly the iPhone's still the winner in terms of absolute performance, both when cold and both when hot. Okay, my name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget the Speedtest G channel, which also has a Twitter account, Speedtest underbar G. I have a Twitter account, Gary Explains. And uh, I suppose that's it. I'll see you in the next one.